Recently in the Madison Valley, capture crews made quick work collaring pronghorn for a new migration study. This research, made possible by a new federal grant, will help wildlife managers conserve one of Montana's largest pronghorn herds. When you see a pronghorn population that has a long distance migration, it's important for us as stewards of the land to hopefully help to maintain that so that they can continue to uh, exploit those seasonally abundant resources, continue the migrations that could have been part of their uh, makeup for millennia. One of the big concerns here in the Madison Valley and other places in Montana is how roads, fences, and new development could impact historic migration routes. If we can learn about the important migratory corridors and movement habits of these pronghorn, maybe we can work together with landowners and folks in the county to help protect and preserve important corridors. To look at big game migrations across the western U.S., the Department of Interior issued grants last fall. This allowed Montana to pursue research with new technology to learn more about Montana's big game movements. There's a new emphasis on how they move uh, within their habitat and even between seasonal habitats in terms of migration corridors. And that emphasis comes from the improved technology. And we can just see things from those kinds of data that we couldn't see before. Once these corridors are known, FWP can work with landowners and others to help protect those areas. What we're trying to accomplish is to facilitate local communities, local landowners, local land managers working together to identify the priority needs of what is needed to make sure that those animal movements are conserved into the future. Partnerships that will help Montana's future big game herds continue their historic migrations. I am Winston Greeley, out among Montana's fish, wildlife, and parks.